Come join Sully, huh? Well, good morning. Are you awake? No. <laughs> yeah, I was slow to wake up this morning, too. But Okay. Um, I'm going to have Larry change the slide. I want you to take a look at that man up there. Does he look very friendly? No? When I was a little girl, there was a movie that came on before Easter every year called King of Kings, and this man was in that movie, and he scared me. I thought he was a pretty scary-looking guy. So I wanted to talk about him today. His name is King Herod Antipas. And do you know who he was? You ever heard of him? No? Well, to tell the truth, most people couldn't tell you much about him. So um, there was more than one king named Herod, but they all had something very much in common. They were all mean, very, very bad kings. Okay? And the bad king Herod in our story today, called Herod Antipas, was planning to kill Jesus as soon as Jesus got to Jerusalem. So some Pharisees who liked Jesus went and warned him and told him to run away. Now Herod had already killed Jesus' cousin, John the Baptizer. And everyone knew that Herod killed lots of people. So he wouldn't feel bad at all about killing Jesus. Wow, that's scary stuff, isn't it? So if somebody came and told you that there was somebody who wanted to kill you, would you run away or would you wait for them? You'd run away, yeah. So, but Jesus told the Pharisees that he was busy doing God's work. What kinds of things was Jesus doing? Do you remember from the story? He was healing the sick and taking care of the poor and the widows and the orphans, okay? And he said he was going to go to Jerusalem when he was ready to go to Jerusalem. So Jesus didn't seem to be afraid of King Herod at all. He told the Pharisees to take a message from him to King Herod. And here's what he said. Go tell that fox. Jesus called the king a fox. What does it mean to be a fox? Nowadays, it might mean that you're good looking. Yeah? But then that's not what it meant to be a fox. It meant that you were worthless. You were a nobody. Do you think you would <laughs> tell King Herod that he was a fox? Are you brave enough to tell him that he's worthless? Because he goes around killing people. I think I'd keep my mouth shut. Okay. So why is Jesus making King Herod mad by calling him a fox? Well, I think he's telling Herod that he's not afraid of him. Okay. Jesus is not going to run away from Herod or anybody else. He's going to finish the work that God wants him to do. So then the king and the governor and the chief priests, all the people that were important, and the scribes stood up against Jesus. And Jesus stood up against them, too. They think that if they kill Jesus, then they're going to win. That they'd be number one. If they kill Jesus, then Jesus is finished. They think that death always wins. But Jesus knows it better. Death doesn't always win, okay? So what Herod and the others didn't know is they were going up against more than a man. Because who was Jesus? The Son of God, yes. And God is going to show everyone who really wins. So he's going to show them that there's something stronger than killing and something stronger than death. God is going to show everyone that God's love brings life. So life is going to win. Let's fold our hands and say a prayer. Jesus, help us to be brave like you were. Help us to be strong against evil. And know that you are there with us. 
to provide for us, to protect us, and to love us always. In your name, amen. This talks about the color purple. You know something purple up here? Purple is the color for lint. <laughs> 